Well, hello there. It's Harry from PB Tech. Welcome back to another hands-on tech review. Today, we're checking out the best headphones and earphones for 2020. We're gonna be looking at the top picks for each category, such as noise canceling, true wireless, sport, office, and bass. But we're also gonna be giving you a nice runner-up alternative, depending on your price point, or just on how good their features are. The first category is noise cancelling. Now we all know that noise cancelling has become a staple feature for all of the most premium headsets and earbuds. We did have in previous videos a bit of a competition going between Sony and Bose, but I think with the long awaited XM4s, the Sony has finally taken the top spot. It has an improved noise cancelling features and algorithms. It also has better audio quality this time around. One of the things that did hold it back in previous comparisons with the, say, Bose NC700s was the fact that it didn't have that multi-point pairing feature, which it now does have, which lets you now listen to your phone and your laptop and it will prioritize the audio based on importance. Say you get a call on your phone, it'll turn off Spotify on your laptop and let you instantly pair over to that instead. It's also got an improved microphone array for a bigger jump in audio quality when taking those calls. This one is definitely gonna be hard to beat for say Bose's next generation. We'll have to see. So with the XM4, Sony finally retakes that noise canceling throne. But wait, what if we're more interested in portability? What would happen if say we combined true wireless with this noise canceling technology? What kind of, what kind of monstrous baby would that create? That thing inside you is a monstrosity. Well, it's right here, in the runner-up we've chosen, which is the Bose QuietComfort Earbuds. It combines the best of true wireless technology with the noise cancelling. And in fact, with that noise cancelling, you're not actually getting that little background hiss that you do get in some of these other headsets, which we found to be quite miraculous, actually, considering it has so much compact into such a small form factor. But being true wireless, you're also getting all of those advantages such as wirelessly charging, touch controls, and Bose's signature active EQ settings. Our next category is true wireless, and our top pick for 2020 is the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Now here at PB Tech, that makes a lot of sense to us, because we did a showdown recently of all of the top true wireless earbuds and compared them all off against each other, and its predecessor, the Samsung Galaxy Buds, came out on top just, and it came out on top because of its high quality sound. Now, there's a reason why Samsung has an advantage over its sounds to its competitors, and that's because Samsung has acquired the Harman Group. Harman is basically a conglomerate based up of JBL, AKG, and the Harman Kardon. They're basically super serious about getting professional and legendary audio quality, and they have added this into their Samsung products, and that's just why that they get that slight advantage there. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, however, they also have all of those classic features, such as amazing best-in-class battery life, super compact case and buds, wireless fast charging, and they have frequent improvements through updates via the Samsung Gear app. So everything you already know and love, but just plus. But wait, in your true wireless purchasing decisions, you realize you have an iPhone and you want all the luxuries that the ecosystem that Apple provides. So of course our runner up goes to the Apple AirPods Pro. It has awesome squeeze controls, good noise cancelling, and it even comes with the new spatial audio feature, which gives you an immersive directional surround sound-like experience. I personally preferred the slightly longer, more toothbrush head look, but I think I can still pass with uh, my hype beast goals of having that smaller one with a little black bit on it. Yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'll be cool, right? Apple being Apple, you know exactly what you're in for because they provide exactly what's on the tin and that's why they're just so popular. Anyway, moving on to the next category. Up next is sport. Eh? A new challenger approaches. It's the Skull Candy Push Ultra. <laughs> Skull Candy are known for their cheap and cheerful buds, but actually these ones have done something pretty game-changing for True Wireless. Ooh. The Skull Candy Push Ultras are really at the top of their game in terms of sport and fitness because they have premium sport-focused features, but only at a fraction of the price of its competitors. You're getting multiple memory wire ear hooks that can be bent to fit into almost all ears. Almost, I said. 
Thank you. It comes with a half in-ear design that blocks out all of that excess noise, but still lets you hear surrounding noise just in case a car is creeping up on you while you're going for a jog. You're not sacrificing out on any of the bass, so you can keep amped as you're jogging along. For all of us sweaty people out there, you'll be glad to know it's IP67, which means it's water resistant, dust resistant. I wouldn't recommend swimming in it. However, it is top of the line in terms of fitness such as jogging outside of the ocean. Um, FYI, IP scale goes up to 10, and 10 is like the bottom of the ocean. So it's pretty good. The buds last up to six hours, but they also have a huge battery life when combined with the case, which when charged can last up to 40 hours of playtime. They also have wireless charging built in, full controls for individual earbuds, and if you misplace them, they also have the official Tile brand location tracking software slash hardware inside them so you can find them individually. So the Skull Candy Push Ultras have pushed their way to the front and taken the top spot for fitness and sport. But in the runner-up position is the Power Beats Pro. Now this product has already distinguished itself as a front runner as it has all of the best technology from Apple with all of the stees from Beats. I would say that the clamshell that it lives in is a bit bulky and you can't really take it with you running, whereas with the Push Ultra, you probably could manage it. The great thing about this is that if you're an Android owner, but you really love Apple products, then you're getting the best of both worlds with this product. Our next category is home and office, and our top pick for 2020 is the Bose NC700s. Girl, you got that yummy, yum, that yum. Oh, let's never go there again. Check out our Instagram if you want to know what I'm referring to. But regardless of that, they have great multi-point connectivity, so you can pair from your computer to your phone. I might be playing games when I should be doing work, and then suddenly my phone goes off, and I can answer that call, as I mentioned earlier. They also have a super slick design. Ah, geez. What do you guys think? You can also make a lot of phone calls and work in noisy environments because they have this killer microphone array that cancels noise on both sides of the phone calls and you can be heard super clearly no matter where you're calling even if you're mowing the lawn, something like that. They are unbeatable on microphone performance and they are the best headphones for that feature right now. However, I've personally used them a lot and I noticed that I can't charge them while using them at the same time. Has anyone else out there experienced that with the Bose NC700s? If you have, leave your solution, if you have one or a fix, in the comments below. I'd love to know. I'm not just recycling old information back to you with the NC700s because they have a brand new feature which is their new USB link dongle, which now gives you that UC certification for Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Google Meets, which rules out the potential for sketchy performance issues from Bluetooth chips in some of your PCs and laptops that I think a lot of us working at home can understand. It now gives us that guaranteed good time on video conferences so we can seem professional instead of, wait, hang on, I can't hear you. It even turns the assistant button into a mute button so you can just stop listening whenever you want. So shout out to the guys over at Bose for continuing to update an already cool product, the NC700s. Boom, our runner up for the home and work is the Sennheiser PXC552s. And that's because they have a super sexy business-like name. No, it's actually because uh, they got docked a few marks because they have an outdated micro USB charging port and the microphone quality just isn't up to standard that the NC700s are. And that's what we're gonna be using them for in this category. But an advantage with this headset is that it does have active noise pass-through, so you can hear what's going on around you if you're in a busy work environment and you want to quickly check in with Chaz, and you're like, sup Chaz, how's it going? I can totally hear you. And he's like, no, you can't. You're listening to music. And you're like, yeah, no, I can't because you actually weren't listening to him. The PXC 552s have some pretty cool unique features, such as when you take them off and you rotate the cups, it'll turn them off automatically. Great for saving your battery. And also if you double tap on the right ear cup, it will go to that superb ambient sound mode and you'll be able to hear everything Chaz isn't saying. You can also expect from Sennheiser their obviously superb audio quality that comes with the Sennheiser brand. Our fifth and final category is bass. And our top pick for 2020 is the Skull Candy Crusher Evos. Oh, sorry, just had a little PTSD from the amount of bass that they gave me last time I reviewed a Crusher bass. model. 
the cups will actually vibrate your head in sync with the bass tones of the music you're listening to. There is a personalized sound feature which will measure how hard of hearing you are and you can adjust the volumes to fit the EQ that will perfectly let you hear it. So bass is good for kids because it's fun and exciting and it's something that actually moves on the head and the EQ for the personal sound is great for older people as I mentioned in the last review because they can adjust the sound to their hearing loss basically. We got Music mode, movie mode, and podcast mode. It's got 40 hours of battery life charging with USB-C. It's rugged and durable, however, a little plasticky in my opinion. But what can compete with this skull-crushing technology? Well, the runners-up were Panasonic M500s and the M700s, which all it adds is that noise-canceling addition. But here, the most important thing was their best attempts to rival the Skull Candies with their own bass vibration ear cup technology. And these ones are called bass reactors, which in my opinion are a little less tunable than the Crushers, and that's why they made it into second place. Head into one of our stores scattered nationwide around New Zealand and check out the two different vibration experiences for yourself. So there you have it, as PB Tech's top picks and runners up for the best in audio. 2020. Summer's coming up. What are you doing for summer? Are you going to be listening to tunes on your sick headphones? What are some of the playlists you're listening to? Why don't you add some of your dope music playlists into the comments below so I can listen to them on my way to festivals this holiday season. I'm Harry from PP Tech. Make sure you like this video if you did like it. Make sure you subscribe to it if you didn't like it. And hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all things tech. Catch you guys next time. Bye!